Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is adenine and thymine in one strand of the double-stranded DNA is 2800 and 3800 respectively. If total number of base pairs present in a single strand of the double-stranded DNA is 10,000, what would be the composition of guanine in a whole DNA molecule? So before we'll solve this problem, let's simplify this problem. Just g let's get right of uh, two zeros. And that means that we just reduce all our numbers hundredfold. Uh, imagine that this is single strand of the DNA. And now we can say that out of 100 base pairs, 28 would be adenine. Let's say that this is going to be adenine adenine, 28 bases out of 100, uh, so 28 out of 100 is the same as 28%. So let's say that this is going to be 28%. Another 38 is zymine on the same strand of the DNA. So 38 bases out of 1 100 is going to be 38 percent. So let's put it here. Let me use different color. So this is going to be zymine and zymine would make 38 percent on the same strand of the DNA. Of course we are told that this is double stranded DNA, so DS DNA. That means that we also have another strand of the DNA here. Now, you need to know that adenine always whispers with zymine and guanine always whispers with cytosine. That means that on the other strand of the DNA, uh, we are going to have 28% of the zymine because zymine always base pairs with adenine on the other strand of the DNA, we are going to have adenine. So zymine base pairs with uh, adenine and on the other strand of the double-stranded DNA, uh, adenine would make 38%. That means that the rest of this double-stranded DNA is going to be cytosine and guanine. So cytosine and guanine, cytosine and guanine would make another. So 28% plus 38%, so 100, so 100 minus 28 plus uh, 38 would give us 34%. So on the strand of the DNA, cytosine and guanine would make 34%. So 34%. And again, cytosine base pairs with guanine. That means that on the other strand of the double-stranded DNA, we also would have composition of the cytosine and guanine, which would make another 34%. If we combine all these percentages, we are going to get 100% here, 100% here, so 200%. That means that we have to reduce all numbers by half. And what we are going to get, we are going to get composition of the double-stranded DNA for example, composition of adenine and zymine is going to be 28% plus 38% and is going to be 66% adenine and zymine content. And we already know that composition of this double-stranded uh, DNA is going to be 34% guanine and cytosine. That means that According to our question, what would be the composition of 
guanine in the whole DNA molecule. So composition of guanine would be half of this number or 17 percent. So 17 percent is going to be guanine content. Again, uh, for example, if you want to know content of this double-stranded DNA of the adenine, so it's going to be 28% here plus 38% here divided by 2. So 33%, half of this number. Composition of the zymine would be 28 plus 38, which is going to be 66, divided by 2, also 33% or half of this number. So adenine. 33%, zymine, 33%, half of this number, and guanine, half of 34, which is 17%, and cytosine is also going to be 17%, half of this number. I hope my explanation have been clear for you, and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.